This is Judge Joe Brown, and we're listening to We All Be News. News Free Dixie for the 21st century. You know, uh, uh, A.D. Gaston? Well, I know A.D. Yeah, well, well, he, he came. He came Secretary of Treasury. Mm. Under Wallace, man. Yeah, he was very well. He was a multi-millionaire too, right? I mean, A.D. Gaston. Oh, well, well, a millionaire ain't no wealth, man. That motherfucker had big money, man. Mm, he was a brother. He was a brother. He was burial insurance. Mm. See? Burial insurance. Okay? Nobody had ever heard of it before him. Mm. And so he went to a white boy and bought $1,500. Mm-hmm. Put in my office together, got all the legal stuff, and, uh, and it was for a penny, mm-hmm. penny a week. Mm. And in the process, uh, two of the brothers he had, he had insured, they got in a knife fight that night and killed each other. Mm. So he went back to the white dude and said, "Hey man, let me tell you, man, what happened to me today." <laughs> so he said, "I need the boy about." $5,000. And he laid them niggas out, man. New suit, new shoes, new pants, new drawers, new everything. And the word got out all over country, man. Niggas, here's the picture of these niggas here, and all it cost was a penny. That's how he got into it. And that oh, thing wow. took off so big, even white folks started doing it. Oh, wow, he started that. But it's, I know. Big. it's big with, with black folks because uh, if you look at the Baptist hymn book, all of them talk. Those are deaf tunes. You got shoes, I got shoes. All mm-hmm. got you. Once we get to heaven, so they're saying, this shit is so bad here, we ain't never going to get it till we get to heaven. So that's <laughs> so that, that was already in their mindset. Yes, sir. And also, uh, A.G. Gass, I know you live to be over 100 years old. Mm-hmm. But I, my understanding is that he did a lot of help with the movement, like he helped Dr. King, helped with the Dr. jail. Is that true? Like, you get hotels, they got to speak in that to stay at the Birmingham? Oh, yeah, man. He put a whole lot of money into it. Man. He, was, he was something else. And I also want to verify a story. I don't know if you I mean, uh, they, my understanding is towards the end of the Montgomery bus boycott, the city wanted to sell the, the bus company or whatever. He, and well, I believe that yeah, they wanted I to sell know, the bus. I don't know what's wrong with the phone, man. Either oh. yours or mine, but. Okay. Uh, yeah. Talking real fast, it goes into static. So what were you saying? Now? Oh, I was saying like it's a story that I read about. It's one of the very far one about you. Uh, they said that A. G. Gaston and another man, S. B. Fuller, mm-hmm. approached Dr. King and Pete and company towards the end of the of the uh, Montgomery bus boycott. So they said the city wanted to sell the, the bus company, and Dr. King refused. So they said they wanted to pull their money together. A. G. Gaston and S. B. Fuller. That's well, King, King wasn't no fucking business man, man. Mm-hmm. You know, you know he, he was doing what he wanted to do, a great writer. He wasn't no yeah, business he, man. Shit, when the last time you heard a fucking football player doing anything else other than football, which is nothing. <laughs> you know. I mean, but towards the end, his last speech, he did come around to about the economic piece. He but did he didn't say that. him. Right, right, of course, of course. Okay. He didn't say he was going to do it. Mm-hmm. What did Malcolm X do, business-wise? Huh? Mm. And when they come out and, and open up that, that, that company, they're going to get that, what, what, what was it, millions of dollars from Gaddafi? Right. Not a nation of Islam, you come up? That, huh? Were you coming with a nation, that was, uh, with Gaddafi off the nation of Islam, the billion dollars? Is that what yeah. you're talking about? Yeah. And the government will let them get it. Yeah, well, you have to be a fool to buy the product. Qaddafi is government agent, and you're going to buy some shit from them that them niggas put out? Mm. Huh? That's right. Everybody, everybody died from poison. Mm-hmm. 